Hello, hello everybody who was lurking and waiting for me to get started, assuming you even saw this that fast. We're checking out something spoopy for All Hallows Eve. Graveyard Keeper. Start up a new game. I've never done anything with this. I've only played, like, logged onto it long enough just to make sure everything functions. Hello, uh, Fipple. Ordinary day, our hero is hurrying, hurrying home, where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Aw, how sweet. Well, that was sudden. What happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you've merely turned a page in your life. <laughs> a whole new chapter awaits you ahead. Can I go home? Okay, so the uh, writing is overdone and extra spooky and kind of entertaining. Off to the graveyard. We are a graveyard keeper now. Yay! And if we're a good graveyard keeper, we get to go home. All right, we need to go find Jerry. I'm playing with controller, just to check it out. Oh, here we go. Wait, technologies? What? Wow. Okay, there's there's actually something to this game. I could enjoy this. We can sleep. We can cook berry juice. Apparently we can fuel the fire. Or the oven. I suppose that's important. What do you let us do? You let us craft things, but we have no resources. Oh, we can stockpile our stone and lumber and use it from anywhere from the looks of it. And it looks like we can access the trunk from near, uh, with nearby crafting tables. Cool. I should probably actually like do what the game is telling me to do instead of wandering around and poking at things, but that's that's just not the Mentat way. What a dour place. I kind of like the uh, aesthetic and the sound. Okay. This must be where we can do some farming. There's the path that I assume leads to town eventually. Oh, look, we got little footprints that follow us around. Okay, Shadow Warrior. I'm not sure what that says. Alright, we should actually, like, do the intro quest now. If this works like most games of this type, then it's going to be heavy on the time management, but the time management won't start for a bit. Oof, digging things up by hand. Uh, hi. Oh god, it's simlish. <laughs> okay, this is kind of cute. Body drop off? A donkey. Hello, donkey. Fresh corpse. Lovely. <laughs> oh dear. I'm cheap labor.
Uh oh. Um, can I just not? Oh dear. No, I can't just ignore the corpse. Yeah, the donkey was complaining about capitalism. Fun and profitable in the morgue. All right. This does not uh, take itself seriously, which is probably for the best. We are going to autopsy the body. Um, creepy? We're just chopping the thing up? <laughs> Nothing is right here. Accurate that. Trade meat in the village tavern for a beer. I don't believe you. Okay, so we can uh, extract flesh and then use the meat at the tavern, apparently. Oh good, we can make corpse burgers. And baked people. <clears throat> well, at least the uh, controller controls work fairly well. Ooh, it got froggy out. Mark a site for the grave, dig with the shovel, carefully put the body in the grave, bury, decorate. Do not use goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. <laughs> Huh. I don't know quite what's up with this yet, but I'm betting that, like, the minuses matter. What is that? Oh well. Yay! Corpse interred. Novice Grave Digger Achievement Kit. Oh, good. <clears throat> We have a boss that we have to take care of this time around. Achievement unlocked. Sweetheart Bishop. Hello. Oh, yeah, I just started. Okay, so we can be promoted to cleric eventually. Oh, the skull is graveyard quality. Okay. You're a terrible judge of character. You're probably terrible at everything, too. Yay, we can get some stuff. You come here every... I guess that's supposed to be Sunday. Okay. Weird traditions and rituals. Very fish out of water. Pride day. Okay. I take it you know uh, the game fairly well, Draconic Rose? Huh. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> See, this is why he's a terrible person. Wow. Blessed and beautiful. Wow. Laugh along. Wouldn't take me even an hour. I don't believe you. Okay, so we can craft new items. Unlock technology with tech points. You earn points by doing anything. All right, we can work with this. We understand the concept of stone and the concept of wood. However, repair kits aren't something that I see immediately. Oh, you know what? They're probably... Oh no, this is anatomy and alchemy. Well, we don't have mu the important parts. Nice. Wood grave, wood cross, gravestone. These still aren't graveyard repair kits. We know nothing of farming or smithing or writing just yet. Eh, we'll find it as we go. Oh, stone repair kit. So that's 15 red and 5 yellow is our starting stuff that we're going to want. What have we got? Four wood repair kits. Four stone repair kits, an axe, a pickaxe, and a hammer. Cool. Um, okay, good. Those go straight into the inventory. And seem to have durability? I'm not certain yet. We'll figure it out as I go. Okay, now it looks like I have time and a stamina bar to deal with. We've got a long way to go before we can uh, fix this up, though. Ooh, we, uh... Okay, so we can fix the gravestones this way. I see. That makes sense. But this one, I would need to give it a gravestone or a fence. And those I don't just have extras of at the moment. We should get to the uh, tavern while we can. But the tavern should be open a little bit into the night. Apologies for blinging. So we're going to need to get to positive five before we can uh, be in a really good spot. Well, we've already covered half of the negative. Okay, this is pretty cute, actually. Good morning, Finn. I don't know if we only have a week ever. I'm pretty sure that uh, there's far more to do than we can inside of one week. Oh, hi. This path is closed until whatever that day is. For which hill? Is it that hill? I don't know yet, Shadow Warrior. D 
Did the days ever get explained in game, or is that one of those things you have to just kind of pick up as you go? Dead Horse Tavern. Well, let's beat something then. Hi. Yes, I'm the new graveyard keeper. Thank you, Miss Chain. Heradric's wife. Uh, okay. So the tavern keeper is also the mayor. You sell recipes. Aw, but I wanted to see what you had. I wish there was an easy way to swap between windows. Fish delicacies, tasty and healthy, sweet baking, pies. Okay, well... All of that is far more expensive than I have. <sighs> Might it be a bad influence on the city? <laughs> Wait, how is this good? Oh, it's good for you, but bad for me. Opening the church? So, I thought well, I was supposed to be a graveyard keeper here, not like... Am I going to lead these people into some sort of, like, horrible Cthulhu cult? The Ancient Contract. <laughs> You're short on money. Is it just me, or does it sound like he's, uh, you know, wololoing? Okay, so we can get more people by opening the church up. He, he is totally wallowing. That's what I thought. So it starts out with us being a unhappy uh, person who's been abducted to this place and ends with us leading into terribleness. Garden seized by the merchants, covers someone's desk, can't find anyone who'll make any use of it. And give you permission to use it. Who else would agree to grove crops near the graveyard? Yay! We have the garden certificate. Right, the he has the right to rent it. But everyone north of the path of to the town is village property. Democratic community here. You're the head of it. Still need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. Okie dokie. Settle the details with the merchant later. Oh goody. Comes to trade with the locals every... Uh, God, I'm terrible with astrological symbols. How do I get home? That's all I want to know. Why, why did you shift the eyes? Why are you still shifty-eyeing? And what do you mean, what do I mean, what year? Uh... Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. Okay, they're, uh... Um... 204 after the ancient... Contract. The name of the kingdom is the kingdom, and it is not loved in the village. <laughs> Royal meat stamp. Well then. So, we're going to be selling them the bits of their own corpses as soon as we can start con counterfeiting proper meat stamps. Form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost a bundle. There's a guy called Snake. He has a fake stamp. Okay. 
Okay. Take a letter to the blacksmith. Sure thing. Why not? Okay, so we can sell that for a buck fifty. And we can buy things probably to level you up. And also because if I don't, uh, um, you'll be broke. Here, we'll buy a beer for 30 so that we can give it to the corpse. 10 stamina. 20 stamina. 20 stamina. Uh, food looks fairly cheap. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind then. Be very careful with my money until I have to be. In the meantime, talk to all the people. Beer tastes bad, cider good. Hello, namaste. Bring the letter to Kresvold uh, the blacksmith in the southeast corner of the village. Oh, you know, it's night. He's prob- oh wait, he's just kind of standing there at midnight. Creeper. <laughs> okay, find whetstone, repair rusty sword. Go kill slimes. Check. Swamp soil in the metal. Uh, I can find metal ore in the swamp soil. Check. Before the bridge collapsed. Crap. Alright, so let's, uh... Grind the sword. Just enough energy to pull this off. Uh, okay. You swing with uh, with X, which is also square. Ow. Um, can I set? I had you. We can equip you. There we go. Nom. Costs energy to swing my uh, sword, so I'll have to be careful and try to make the most of it. And the NPCs, let's see, how many? Kill two slimes. Oh, okay, all done. Uh, I honestly, I think that I'm going to be spending my money getting. Uh... Ooh, we got five simple iron parts. Cool. And now we know how to create green jelly and red jelly. And back to the tavern. Apparently I'd, I'm not forced to sleep at any point, but it's probably the only way to get my uh, stamina back. And time does not stop. Or at least the easiest way. He does look kind of like the Warcraft peasant, doesn't he, Darkwing? Dark Let's... Dangerous. Yay, free beer. And now we can take the beer back to the skull. Food gives stamina. Eventually I'll get a, uh... Ooh, achievement unlocked charm itself. Oh. Hey, it is, uh... Potentially the day I'm after. 
Hi. Come back when I have more faith in myself. So probably when I'm a cleric. Oh. Hello. We'll find out in a moment, Shadow Warrior. <laughs> Wagner. Ha 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 ha. You want me to get you paper and ink because reasons. I got the perk, journalist. You notice the little things about people. Put these things together and you have a story. Sometimes you can get stories from dialogues. Interesting. Has to go to the lighthouse every... Hello, Cooper. Basically just tutorial stuff. Astrologer is old and mad. <laughs> Slash goes. No, I appreciate you telling me the day names. I wouldn't know them otherwise. All right, so it is currently Lust Day. It, tomorrow is Wrath. What's that next? Apollo's symbol, maybe? I don't know. I definitely can't tell what, uh, um, day that's supposed to be, though. Pride is to my left. Sloth, the moon, that, that makes sense. So, envy, maybe, for the, uh, halo-looking thing? Oh, hi, Skull. <laughs> uh, this, this guy is totally a reference to Planescape Torment, isn't it? Uh, oh, we needed to talk to the uh, merchant, didn't we? Uh, looks like the merchant is just south of the bar. Um, but yeah, um, we've got Pride, Lust, Wrath, and Sloth all figured out. Which means, of the top and the top right, one of them is Envy and one of them is Gluttony. Because Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, the map doesn't show quite where I am on it, huh? That's slightly annoying. Can we just walk in places? Not there. Hello. Are you the merchant I was looking for? Oh, he only visits on certain days. Right. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. I don't think I need to sleep at the moment. Apparently, I restore HP and stamina through food more than sleep. <clears throat> is 
Sorry for all the throat clearing and sniffling. I think I'm coming down with the start of a cold. Well, I'm going to hope that time doesn't pass when I've got the menu open so that I can look things over a bit. 5 HP and 15 stamina. We can study you. We can use that garden certificate right away. We need to unlock... Uh, grave technologies eventually. Right now the best we can really manage is uh, wooden stuff. But we should look more into it. We can make garden beds and move berry bushes and apple trees around. Eventually learn how to beekeep and that sort of thing. Eventually we'll know how to learn how to make our own fertilizers. We can smith, build a furnace and smith up iron and eventually we can turn that into being able to make useful things like steel tools and weapons. Those would be really nice to have. Heck, just better tools at all would be good. Always need better tools in these games. Stone repair kit is something that we were looking at. Woodworking has the wood repair kit. Okay. So I think we learned the repair kits first. And yeah, time passed while we were in the menu. That's okay. Oh, so as long as I don't go two full days without sleeping, I'm fine. Figured I'd end up doing some sleep. Achievement unlocked, even here. Okay, so once we get some seeds and fertilizers, we can... Uh, Start doing some farming, which is almost guaranteed to be important. Uh, we can pull water up from here, which is presumably going to be useful for things. And once we clean this out, the, it looks like this will let us expand the garden some. Blueprint best access. Some objects will be built immediately. Some need an extra little extra work with the hammer. Trunk, furnace, timber. Increase yard space. Interesting. <coughs> Sorry about that. I thought I muted. Pardon me. So we can chop you down, mine up stone. This looks like some of the swamp iron that we were told about. What are you? Stone garden. Okay. Well, we were told to check out the cellar, where there should be goodies waiting for me. Oh, apparently there's also bad guys waiting for me. Uh-oh. That was the achievement for meeting Shady Snake, apparently. That'll take a lot of effort, but before we do that, let's check around and see what the seller has to offer. You let me build storage. You have a simple and tasty recipe. Cool. How do I use you? A? 
Yay, we know how to make baked mushrooms and baked apples. Flour. Cool. Clearing this out doesn't actually give me any useful material, just some research. Alright, so what can we craft? We have flour. We can make dough with water. And oh, but we need droplets of water. And then we need fire to make the dough into bread. Okay, every bucket turns into 20 water droplets. Part of me is worried about making so much dough right up front. So yeah, this is one way to restore uh, stamina and HP early on. Sleeping through one night seems like it should be built into the game as an expected thing. And now we can go to town. Whoa! What? <laughs> Hi! Alas, poor Yark. You need to make up your mind. What is up with this guy? Uh, okay. So, wait, where I bury who might matter? Dig him up and throw him in the river? I... Uh, that's not okay. Anyway, let's, uh... Fuel the fire so that I can, uh... Cook some bread. Oh, that just happens over time. Doesn't need my active participation. Alright, so get a beer from the tavern. We've already done. Demonstrate you're worthy to talk to you. Uh, that'll take more time. Ten paper and an ink. Talk with a merchant on Wrath Day. Find a stamp and sell meat to Roderick. Well, we should make sure we get to town to talk to the merchant today. And we should check out the Royal Services box. We'll start working once the church opens again. Well, nuts. Closed due to the ancient curse. Please address any concerns to the Inquisitor. Get right on that, I'm sure. So, this guy in the lower right is who you wanted me to exhume, huh? Let's just do whatever the uh, game tells us to do, right? Of course I was going to chop him up for meat. Don't do it, it's bad advice. I don't know if you're telling me that based on, uh... Um...
foreknowledge or guessing. Well, where the heck is the river? It really doesn't show a river, does it? Later, Deccan. Oh, there's the river. Wait, can I toss him in the hole? Darn. Hoop. No longer my problem. Yay, berries. <laughs> I'm gonna do anything anyone asks. That's how we do. Best way to get a variety. <laughs> uh, somewhere down to the town. Oh dear. Okay, so we can get rid of bodies by burning them into ash as well. Nice alternatives. And probably We're probably going to get the body back. It's going to show up for us. Because they'll find a random body floating in the water. Anyway, let's go talk to the merchant. Maybe he'll sell us some seeds. And then we shall get to work harvesting resources and uh, trying to pretty up the graveyard. I think. Hello there, merchanty type. Achievement unlocked. Wealthy, wow, you're drunk as heck. Amazing things, tasty and r rare. The palaces of the town. Onion potato hell. <laughs> Story. That's way too much. Deliver a batch of carrots, cabbages, and beets. Okay. Twelve carrots, twelve cabbages, and twelve beets. And you want a uh, favor. You like delicious food, but you've been having stomach problems. Hiccup grass. In the swamp. Once we get the uh, bridge fixed. Local farm. That's a terrible deal. That, 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 that's ursery. What do you trade in? Golden jewelry, silver ingots, royal fish, grape seeds. Boy, that's interesting to me.
Goofer, you know I tend not to answer questions like that. You're the potter. So, besides the wheat farm... Uh, choppy chop, lumber... I guess the farm's my best bet for what I'm looking for. The wheat farm. Even though it's a wheat farm, which is weird. Really, I was just hoping for a garden to be able to, like, feed myself with. Not do anything exciting. You're a miller, and I have to go. Okay, can we fix the mill? Old reserves. You sell hundreds of flour at 12 apiece. Okie dokie, what's that? It's glowing. Okay, so we can fix the mill. I don't know if I can just murder people, you know? Hi there. The farmer's son. Alright, farmer. Sell me seeds. My profession is a fraud. Yay, we know how to make uh, cooked veggies. More importantly, though, we can buy seeds from you. Oh, they're expensive. Cabbage, carrot, and beet. Well, the beets are cheap. I have no idea how many um, crops we get from each seed. Oh, I see. Everyone we buy makes the price go up. So we should come back tomorrow. And kind of spread out what we're buying. So that we don't drive the price up too high. There, we got a bunch of seeds. Let's go plant them. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, get seeds from our crops. Path is closed until Envy Day or Gluttony Day. Still don't, not sure which is which. I wish I could remove these bushes. Or patch up this fencing. I don't know. It's pretty terrible the way it is right now. Oh, what? It needs multiple seeds to plant one plot? So noted. I don't tell you that. I was thinking I'd try it. I'm not sure if it's actually a possibility, though. Yeah, we can't put water 
on the crops at all easily. Yeah, watering the crops isn't a thing that we can really do. All right, let's go clear out the rest of the graveyard. Oh, as long as we're right here. Okay, what is this? Corpse hatch. All right then. Seems like a useful upgrade to get early. Here's your beer, jerk. You need something stronger. Right, quiet down about being from another world. We need to give him wine. Portal on which hill? There's a library? Oh, in the church. Or talk to the astrology. Network of tunnels in the... Morgue. Fish? What? Bring you some wine. Okay, Jerry. Lighthouse every sloth day. Haven't had another, uh, oh, hey. It costs me, it's expensive to clear paths, I see. All right, let's get back to um, clearing out the graveyard then. We can't uh, clean it up to the level of detail that I'd like yet. But the path there mostly involves doing more manual labor for both the resources and the um, research. It seems like getting the uh, um, church opened is an important early thing we can do. Okay, so you're worth a lot of uh, tech points, but no resources. It doesn't look like we have, like, chopping tree technology yet. But yeah, I was thinking getting the wooden grave fence and cross would go a long way. However, it also sounds like I need to get my hands on... We can fell small trees. Chopping spot. Woodworking. Perk Axemen. Chopping a small tree can now give you an additional log, and you can make more firewood and wedges from log chunks. So we need to find what counts as a small tree to be able to fell them and get some uh, goodies. Okay, this counts as a small tree, apparently. Oh, and the logs are large, of course. They're not easy to deal with. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Can I come to posit a log in this spot? Sure can. That's why it exists. So yeah, first technology we're going to pick up for the time being is going to be uh, graveyard tech, the simple gravestones.
so that we can start prettying up the graveyard and get ourselves access to the church and the library inside. Don't I craft things at one of these tables over here? Hey, you. How do I craft the bits that I need? Why would I be building an undead army? That doesn't sound like me. Yay, we can gather mushrooms. If we start from the right angle. No work regulations for dead people. Oh, cool. We get uh, um, goodies, from, we get research goodies from crafting bread. Well, stamina is not nearly enough. So we should really start a bunch more bread cooking, shouldn't we? Let's slice up the meat. Might be a good idea. We cook the sliced meat. Oh, the sandwiches require, uh... That doesn't seem like it's a good idea. Oh, we get three out of it. I see. Alright. I'm definitely going to want to make a bunch of uh, bread. Oh. Sounds like a body has arrived. Sure, just drop it off. That's cool. Uh, oops. I think we got a uh, grave ready for you. need to figure maybe that table lets me craft things yay burial certificate get we can buy more seeds uh, nope I missed the bit of the tutorial where it tells me how to craft items crafted at random text generator study table Presumably, I need to uh, put those together somewhere. Anyway. Yes, definitely need more autopsy uh, recipes. You let me do garden stuff. Weird. I'll have to go clear that out by hand first, I guess. You. Trunk, furnace, stockpile, yard space, stockpile. Sigh. Alright. Well, here. It does appear that we can... access things in nearby chests. So we're going to go ahead and put away our foodstuffs for now near the cooking area. And just to prove it, 
Yep, we can totally chop up the meat. Good. Blueprint, timber stockpile, stone stockpile. Uh, I guess we need the sawhorse, don't we? Ah, here, here we go. Should tell me, crafted at stonecutter, carpenter's workbench. How do I get the ability to build a carpenter's workbench? Carpenter's workbench, there we go. So we're going to need a bunch of red uh, research. Excellent. Now we can make our, oh, we need 10 more. We're going to need a, an awful lot of uh, fuel, aren't we? Cook me lots of the bread. Thank you. Above chest. Oh, yes. I wasn't attempting to clear 100% uh, of the area. I will get uh, more red uh, research outside as well by chopping trees and stuff. But yeah, I can definitely see you being able to easily screw yourself over early to, into not being able to make the various things that you need. Let's go uh, sell off this uh, um, burial certificate and buy two more beet seeds so that we can actually plant a field of beets. And think about... Oh, hi there. Holy Inquisition. Well then, I better talk to him when he comes back. Which would probably make today Envy Day then. If uh, the Inquisitor is coming. Which would mean the one before that is Gluttony. And if I remember right, that makes sense for that symbol. I just don't remember them that well. The circle with the horns is sounds gl like Gluttony. Welcome to the Dead Horse. Geert, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Very much appreciated. So yeah, I'm not seeing it as being like horrifically punitive in terms of uh, the time management thus far. It definitely has some newbie traps built in though, and I'm not certain that I'm uh, avoiding all of them by any means. All right, so uh, if I order six, it's gonna cost me 91. It's most of my money, but it'll let me get two seeds, uh, two fields of uh, beets planted and leave me enough to plant another field of cabbage. Yeah, carrot, cabbage, beets. Let's do it, oops. Not accept. How do I remove? Well, 
Why is that? Alright, that was weird. I thought the circle with horns was gluttony. But yeah, these are astrological symbols that were also used as uh, the deadly sins. Oh, the Inquisitor is heading to the Witch Hill. Uh, hi there. You've got creepy whisper voice. Witch burning ceremony. Uh, sure, let's go burn some witcher witches. <laughs> um, he's the Inquisitor. We don't want to get burned. Probably would have said that no matter what. You protect the one true faith in humankind itself. Sure you do. Ship of the dead is already overloaded. There's a new one stuck in the shipyard in the town. Your graveyard is opening again at a suspiciously auspicious time. Sauspiciously. Mmm, saucy-spiciously. Dark cult is rising. Righteous anger rises with it in my soul. Wow, are you're, you're the second witch of the year? Uh, creepy. Wow, this game got dark fast. Let's hope the, uh, don't have good sound effects for the screaming. You need someone to be your friend here at the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. You can't trust the villagers because they're not townies. Because without the Inquisitor, then they're committing murder instead of uh, engaging in uh, God's work. Well, better to work with the uh, Inquisitor than make him mad because I don't want to end up on that pyre. Couple minor tasks. Today is a day of wrath, not a day of sweating the minor details. Okay, so return next uh, um, wrath day. Creepy. All right, so there is a portal here. Yeah, I was told that the line with two horns was uh, wrath. I thought that, uh, but I must have uh, misunderstood. Darn it. I'll have to go fix that shovel up. Hey, let's check this out. There's a whole lot of stuff back here. Hello. Circle with horns is uh, envy. Line with horns is gluttony. Thank you, Gene Rogue. Eh, I've got a whetstone, and I think I've got a grinder back home. It'll be fine. We'll go sharpen the shovel and life will be good. Also, we will hopefully be able to keep uh, access to here. And Witch Hill won't be closed down any time that it's not Wrath Day. That's what I thought. Things pause when I'm in this menu. 
Even if they do it weirdly. Donkey! Well, I wanted to talk to you, but you left before, almost before you arrived. Right, let's go collect some of our bread. And maybe spend two seconds in bed as well. So that we reset the timer on, uh... Badness. The timer of badness. That's a lot of bread. Corpse is a soul's vessel, bears the mark of his life. Sins are uh, red skulls, and good deeds are white skulls. Even the best decorations can't make the graveyard a peaceful place when it is full of red skulls. Okay. So we need to get rid of the nasty bodies, huh? All human remains have their own unique spiritual attributes. A corpse gets it. Oh! We need to carve out the right spiritual, uh, the right pieces to stop the, uh, place from being nasty. I see. Interesting. So we might need to be a little bit more careful about digging the meat out of everybody. That's what I thought. Yay, we got the whetstone back. Something tells me that won't be an every time thing. Yay! We buried another body. Certainly run out of time quickly. Alright, it is now Sloth Day. That's the day we were told that the, uh... Duder face might be in the place. astrologer at the uh, lighthouse, I think it was. Alright, so we're keeping up with bodies for now. Um, and we've got some crops planted. Let's work on getting that carpenter's table, huh? Carpenter's workbench is going to require us to build the sawhorse first, I bet. Yep, and here we can craft flitch out of logs. Which is what I need to make the carpenter's table. Bop, 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 bop. 
And now we can craft wood repair kits as well as markers and fences. Looks like wooden fences are the cheapest option. We can turn planks in uh, flitch into planks. So basically, this is a lathe in a plane. Okay, good. We're gonna need nails to really start doing good though. But for now, we've got plenty of uh, graves that can do even with a simple um, fence. But I'm not going to worry about it until the next time uh, I've got a body to deal with. Let's just head to town and see if we can meet that astrologer. Right? Talk to the astrologer about the portal. Get a bottle of wine. 12 carrots, 12 cabbages, and 12 beets, as well as some hiccup grass. Reach 5... Peacefulness at the graveyard. Ten paper and an ink. Lots to do. Lots to do. For now, it was implied that the lighthouse is east of the village. So let's head east and see what we can see. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. No time to chat. Must be going. Is the village always this spoopy or is it, uh, ooh, hey. Ha, huh. cute. Or is it uh, decorated for All Hallows Eve? What the heck are you? A little bit. Ah, oh, you're crazy. Okay, bring honey and you'll teach me how to cake. Fantastic. Thanks for the offer. Ah, uh, well, I found a broken bridge. A big one, too. I don't think we're going to fix that one up by hand. And here we have a beach. Pier. Can we do fishing? It's a fishing spot. Need a fishing rod. Okay, we can do fishing with a fishing rod. There's more to this game than you think at first. Cliffs. Should be finding a lighthouse soon, sometime soon. Or we could find a campsite. Maybe we should try south next. What the heck? Berries. Yay. Tasty and smoky. I like tasty and smoky. Hi there. Go to the town. Is this the entrance to the town then? Mountain fort. No entry permitted. Maybe not. Well, looks like I should head back to the uh, path and explore south of it. Still trying to find that lighthouse where the astrologer is supposed to be today. 
I feel like I'm wasting too much time looking around, though. Ooh, fruit trees. That is not the apple that I was hoping to gather. I can see it lying on the ground there. Darn it. I took too long getting here. Still, it looks like this is a uh, great place to know about just for sheer quantity of random stuff. These apples are gonna go a long way for me, I bet. It's weird that I can't, that like, some of them I can harvest and some of them I can't. Like, I would have expected the green apples to be just as good. Just a different type. I can't quite tell if like some of them aren't quite ripe yet or whatever. Oh well. Missed our shot at the astrologer this week. We'll talk to him next week. What is what is going on here? Weird. Oh well. We'll come back and check it out later. Time to head home and check if the uh, Witch Hill is open so we can finish digging up that plot of whatever. Oh, actually, I need to stop at the uh, tavern. Okay, so my money seems to be making its way here. That's good. Looks like I get 10 uses of a whetstone, judging by the fact that it's at 90% condition after using it once. Or maybe I get 20 and I've used it twice? Hard to know for certain. I don't want to buy any more seeds until I know that I need them. Oh, yep, which hill is open. Uh, if you don't finish the job at the time, you uh, lose out. Okay, so that just lets me clear things out and then use it as a place to print, plant grapes. Oh, nope. I was wrong. Ouch. Well, that was a lot of energy that I never had to spend, and a lot of shovel durability for that matter. Those look like they might be ripe. We'll check on them in a moment here. Yep. Four crop waste, three cabbage seeds, and seven cabbages. Oh dear. We are running out of inventory. Surprising no one. Oh, the grave fences take up an entire inventory slot. Let's go use those. Well, I've already found uh, someone selling grape seeds, Gene Rogue, so I imagine they will. 